back to a new video. In today's video, I am going to be using my Madame Glam gel polishes. I've got some nice ones here. I've got Pop the Champagne. Ooh, I've got I Love New York, which is this like neon pink. Very pretty. Um, I've got the Big Apple, which is like a bright greeny yellow, yellowy green. And um, Birthday at the Plaza, which is a nice colour. <laughs> And then my favourite kind of nude, which is rosy nude. We're going to be using all of these. Also, I am wearing Madame Glam's Press On Nails, which they now do. Um, normally, I wouldn't... I haven't done a video on these because I like nail techs who make press-ons to get the attention. However, they did send them to me and I didn't know they, they were sending them. So, I thought I'd better just mention them just because... It'd be rude to not do anything with them after they send them to me. So they do press-ons now, but I'm not going to do anything massive because ideally, if you're a nail tech that sells press-ons, then I would rather people buy from from you. Does that make sense? Because you know, you know, help the help the nail tech, help a fellow nail tech out. Anyway, um, I've just buffed over the surface of each of these tips and wiped off the dust. Right, you can do. We're going to do some French nails. You can do these in two different ways. Um, you can either fully cover the nail, like I've done here, and then paint on your French, the, you know, the, the free edge. Or you can, like, paint on your smile line. So you'd obviously, yeah, you have to be a little bit more careful than this. <laughs> but you paint on your smile line and then... Obviously, you, you're neating it up. And then what you can do is you can fill in the free edge with your, you know, with your chosen colour. I am just going to, if, you're, if your gel polishes aren't that opaque, then you probably have to paint on your smile line and then paint on your free edge. Um, but because the colours I'm using are pretty creamy and opaque, I am going to just draw the, draw the free edge on. Do you, am I making sense? I feel like I'm a bit not. I'm not very with it this morning. I've not long woke up actually. It's quite early. Uh, right onto our palette. We're going to put a blob of each of the colours. It's actually half past eight. I did wake up. I did wake up at about half past six, and I fell back to sleep. And I didn't mean to fall back to sleep. <laughs> right, I I bought my smile lines. <clears throat> Some people will draw all these different lines on the nail, and then kind of like line it up using the lines. I just eyeball it. But if you've got a way of doing, uh, if you've got a way of doing how you do your smile lines, you do your smile lines like that. I like a quite, if, if I'm using these tips, I like quite a long smile line. <clears throat> quite an elongated smile line. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to fill in this top bit. And then for the bottom bit, because it would take all day if I was to continue this with my, my detailer brush. Um, I get the brush from the actual bottle, the bottle brush, and I'll fill in the rest of the free edge because it's just a lot quicker. And also I wanted this slightly, a little bit more elongated. Actually, it looks fine looking at it now. I don't know what I was worried about. Um, but I do just, I'm getting a, my, you know, my cleanup brush. It's actually a, an old 3D acrylic brush. I've just dipped it in some isopropyl alcohol to dampen it and I'm just elongating this bottom bit slightly there we go and then I'm going to pop that in the lamp for a 30 second cure um I am going to do it again on I'm only going to do this on three nails I like to hold these close to each other so that I can make sure that the smile line or sorry the the nail bed is the same length or as as, as roughly as, as close to the same length from cuticle to smile line as I can get it. See, ta da! Um, and then I'll put it in the lamp. I'm only going to do one coat of these colours on the free edge because they don't need two. Um, yeah. Oh, and look, I want to show you this striper brush. This is the Ugly Duckling striper brush. I'm comparing it with my detailer brush, they're very similar. So if you want an alternative to my fine my detailer brush uh, trying to speak um then try ugly duckling brushes because um they are pretty darn good this is their striper 2 brush which i'm using um i think 
ugly duckling brushes are only available to professionals though but do you know what if you look hard enough on somewhere like aliexpress or ebay or, or i don't know maybe not ebay but i'm sure you will be able to find one somewhere that's not professional only uh yeah you just have to do a little bit of searching i think right now we're just creating some waves every time i do one wave i am going to flash cure it i want them thick but obviously not too thick um like i mean these aren't fine waves these are thicker waves but they're not they're not like thick thick well they are thick but you know what i mean you want a nice medium medium thickness line medium thickness do you know what i mean <laughs> i'm making the sense now um and yeah it doesn't matter if they're slightly different widths but once you have once you've done one wiggle and you're happy with it give it a give it a flash cure i was just trying to make this one a little thicker or wider thicker or wider not quite sure what the white maybe i could use either word i don't know so i'm going to give that a quick flash cure then we're going to move on to our next one so i'm using all the colors that i've used on my palette um if you obviously you, you're going to have to do a fifth nail um you can repeat a french of one of the colors we've used or you can add another color of your choice it's entirely up to you you could even have a you could even have a plain rosy nude nail and stick crystals on i suppose you could do whatever you wanted i however have done four tips <laughs> right now we're going to move on to our last color so the last color is obviously the pink and we're going to curve around the blue this time So you can see they're all slightly different widths. They're not all the same, but you know, do do what you want. There's no rules. There we go. And now I've done. I'm going to give that a full cure in the lamp for 30 seconds after I finish faffing. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to use some ethereal glitter from Nail Sugar. Um, you can get 10% off any Nail Sugar glitter using my code NATMUG10. I don't want the fine bits or the thick or the bigger bits of glitter. I want those medium sized bits of glitter. And to apply them to the nail, I'm going to use Madame Glam's base coat. I'm going to pop a little bit of base coat on my palette. Then I'm going to take a dotting tool. And normally I would cover the whole nail in base coat. However, um, sometimes the glitter will wander around so i found this way is much easier i'm taking a dotting tool uh, wherever i want a bit of glitter i've just put a little dollop of base coat on and then i'm going to pick up the glitter in the tray and i'm going to put it on top of my little dollop of base coat you only need a little bit of base coat not masses um and on each of the nail the base coat is um making a, a trail of dots so we're going to have a, we're not completely covering the nail, but can you see we've made a little trail? And now I'm going to pop that in the lamp for a 30 second cure. And then I'm going to do the other nails. So this nail, the, we're doing a little trail, but the trail starts from the other side of the nail. So this is going from left down to right. Whereas the other one went sort of right down to left. There we go. And then we're just going to, yeah, and also doing it this way, you don't get a whole extra layer of, you know, gel on the nail. So it's going to stop any, you know, it's going to stop it from being like bulky, especially if you're doing this, this on a, like a natural nail. There we go. And this one I've done two little, you know, I didn't do a trail. I've done two little sections of glitter. And don't forget the, what's this one called? I was going to call it the rainbow now, but it's not a rainbow. It's a... Don't forget the wavy nail. There we go. And this one, I'm going to do the same kind of like I did the green one. I'm going to do it in two little sort of clusters as opposed to trails. Um, you can get as well 30% off any Madame Glam gel polishes or anything on their website using my code NATMUG30. The only thing that you don't get discount off of on Madame Glam's website is their outlet section. But they, I mean, you get, I think they, 
there's up to 60% off in their outlet section anyway. Uh, this is Madame Glam's white gel paint. I love Madame Glam's gel paints. They're really, really nice. Especially the new, the latest neon ones they brought out. They're really, oh, I love them. Um, this, I'm just placing, again, using the dotting tool, just placing some dots where I want some stars. Now, I'm not going to overdo it with the stars. And I want the stars to be in the same area as the glitter. So I've put my dots on. Then I've got, look, I've got no product on my detailer brush and I'm just taking the product that's from the center of the dot and I'm just doing a small line outward, like up, down, left, right. There you go. Can you see? And then again, I'm going to work on the next one. Don't worry about, I mean, I know I've got a little bit of product on my brush from the previous star, but that's not, don't worry about that. You don't want to add a clump of gel to your brush and then create the lines you don't need to do that otherwise you'll end up with a really thick star there we go just whatever is left in that dollop you just want to work that outwards and we got some stars yeah so i'm going to do the same thing on the other nails again I'm, look i'm working the, the stars are in the trail of glitter and i think i put about four stars on each nail Again, I've got no product on my brush, just working outwards with what product was in that little dot. These are so easy and they look so nice. They look really cute. There we go. So that is that one. Okay, and then that can go the lamp. The gel paints need a 60 second cure, by the way. Um, right, I'm going to finish these off and this is what they're looking like they're so cute i see people doing this like wavy kind of galaxy kind of thingy um a lot and i really it looks really nice and it's really easy but it looks really nice so i thought i'd give it a go and um, we're using the velvet matte top coat for this set uh, obviously if you want to you can use the no wipe top coat um i prefer them velvet matte top coated i actually really like the look of the glitter as well under the the velvet matte top coat so we're going to do all the nails in that if you want them shiny they'll look something like this pop them in a lamp for 30 seconds and this is them finished Ta -da! can you see what the, the glitter looks really cool i really like that velvet matte top coated um i'll show you a quick close-up here they are Ta -da! Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It is completely free and you can always change your mind later, though I'd rather you stayed. Madam Glam's website and Nail Sugar's website and discount code will be down below for you. Um, God bless and I will see you all in the next one. Love you, bye.